Hello everyone, this is Robert here with a Techie 311 iOS 9 update video. We're going to start off with the iPad update today. And so this is going to be for all iPads, uh, iPad 2 on up. So if you have the original iPad or an iPad mini 1, it might and it might not work. If you don't see this on your screen when you go under settings in general and you go to the software update then that means your iPad cannot be updated so you don't no need to send me comments and all that if you do not see this then that means it cannot be updated so I want to let you guys know that. Before you do anything else make sure you go into your iCloud and you go into your backup and make sure you have a most current backup in there that is step one. This is just as a precaution. If you use iTunes, back it up on iTunes, but make sure you have a backup. That is very crucial. Not to say that these uh, software updates can cause an issue, but you never know. You want to have the backup to do it. Now you see on the iPad 2, it says I have 741 megabytes for iOS 9. Not every iPad is going to be exactly the same. If you have the brand new iPad Airs or you have the new iPad Pro, you're probably going to be looking at 1.2 to 1.3 gigs, somewhere around there. So I want to let you know that that megabyte number right there is not for every single iPad. Most of the iPad minis should update, and like I said, anything from an iPad 2, iPads 3 and 4, uh, iPad Airs, they should all get this update. All right? We go in here and to learn more, and this gives you an idea of exactly what's included in here. As far as the intelligence, the proactive Siri, and if your if your iPad has Siri, this iPad 2 doesn't. So just let you know, the new iPad features: slide over, split view, picture in picture, quick type, the built-in apps improvements, gives you all the information, the longer battery life, the new San Francisco font, uh, leaving messages for FaceTime calls and language supports, and so forth and the accessibility information. All right? So, I'm gonna show you guys now, we're gonna do an over the air update, and I will go ahead and show you this. Uh, it's probably gonna take approximately 30 to 45 minutes, but I'll go ahead and shorten this video so you guys can see the whole update. So first thing you do is you go to download and install. It's gonna ask you for a passcode. Okay, once you do that, it's gonna give you this terms and conditions. You go to agree, go to agree. Okay, now, Everything here is automated. It's going to do the update requested. It's going to verify the update, and then it's going to start downloading the update. All right? And then basically from there on out, you let it run. Let it run until it finishes. When it reboots back to your home screen, then you automatically uh, open it up and start either doing the setup for iOS 9, or you just continue on where you were. So. I've already done the current backup. That's a very crucial thing to do. And now I've, go, I've went ahead and said download and install. So you can see here it says about 10 minutes remaining because remember this one's only a couple of megabytes, not gigabytes. So it might not take the full 30, 45 minutes, but I just want you guys to be aware, depending on your Wi-Fi uh, signal you have, or depending on how strong your computer system is for your iTunes, that'll determine how long this will take. All right, so we're gonna let this run. You can see how it updates, and then I'll come back and uh, we'll get into iOS 9 a little bit. But make sure you guys are subscribed to my YouTube channel and you're on my Patreon account because on Patreon I will go over more detailed features of iOS 9. But if you're not on Patreon, you won't get those videos because they will not be on YouTube. Okay, so now it went ahead and it's downloaded, and now it moves to the next session, which is preparing the update. Once that line goes completely blue, then you're going to get a uh, pop-up that says verifying the update and then your whole screen will go black and it'll start the update on its own. And like I said, this is all automatic so you really don't have to really do anything. Just keep your screen on, maybe flip it a few times. And that's about it really. And just let it go and it'll finish the process. Okay, and that's it. it finished preparing the update. It's been downloaded. You'll see it's going to automatically give you the seconds here on when it's going to install it. So now it's going to verify. The screen will go black. You'll get an Apple symbol. The screen will go black again. you get a little cog down here. Then you'll get the Apple symbol and a line. 
That line has to fill all the way through. Once it does, it'll go black again. You get another apple symbol. One more time, you get an apple symbol in line. That line will fill through. That's the firmware update. And then it'll reboot the device. So this is all automated. You don't touch it anymore. Once this is done, you just let it, let it go. Okay, screen went black. There's the Apple symbol. You're gonna get a cog on the bottom. You'll notice down here. Maybe like a little fast spinning cog. And then here goes the Apple symbol. This line right here has to fill all the way up. Once that line fills all the way up, then the update is installed. Then it'll have to reboot again. You'll get another one of these symbols again and you want that line to fill all the way up again. Okay, so as you can see, the line is almost done. This is pretty much the software itself. This is what's being installed. Now, since it's over the air, it's considered a Delta uh, software update. So just the new stuff gets added. So all your original stuff that's on the phone stays the same. They just get a few little updates and changes here. So once this thing fully fills up, you're going to get another black screen. You'll get another Apple symbol pop up. Then you'll get another Apple symbol with another line. This is where the firmware is updated and that's where it finishes the updating process. So I'll go ahead and show you that here. Okay, so now the screen went black. It's already done with the install. Now you got the other Apple symbol just came up. And then you're going to get another Apple symbol, another line. This is going to be the firmware install. Okay, there's the line. This one usually goes a little faster than the first one. Remember, the first one is the actual install. That's installing the entire iOS program. This one is doing the firmware install, also restoring everything back to where it used to be with the new features added. And that's pretty much what the second one is. Now, the first one did take quite a long time. This is an iPad 2, so don't judge the speed of this one compared to your iPad, depending on if it's a newer model or not. Okay, and so you can see the progress line right there. And this one is going to move a lot quicker. And once it finishes, it'll reboot the iPad. So like I said, you don't need to touch anything. This is all automatic. The time it's going to take for all this is going to vary. I'm running off an 802.11ac Wi-Fi, so I've got a pretty fast Wi-Fi signal here. You can do this through iTunes. Probably take you the same 30 minutes to an hour, depending on your speed. But uh, like I said, this is running off an 802.11ac Wi-Fi. Still taking about an hour, but it is an older iPad too. The newer your device, the newer your iPad, then the faster it'll probably take. Okay, so now the line's completely done. And what it's going to do is it's going to reboot the iPad. Now, this is the first time I'm doing iOS 9 for this update, so I'm not sure if there's going to be a setup screen or not. But like I said, I'll walk you guys through from here. So let it fully update. Okay, so we do a setup screen. Put in the passcode. Okay, update complete. A few more steps to follow. We're going to do the location services. Okay, we're going to add in the password to the account. Gonna hit next. It's gonna update the iCloud settings. Okay, and welcome to iPad. And that's it. You notice I have the new news app right here, just so you can see. Uh, scroll across here, and I don't believe this iPad 2 gets the wallet app. No, but I'll show you one little trick. If I hold to uh, to delete, you notice how Find My Friends did not um, have a little X, like you see here, became a default app. All right, so just to prove to you guys, we go over here, go into the settings, and I'll show you guys, um, go into software update, and it'll give you an idea that we're on iOS 9. There you go running iOS 9 on an iPad 2. There it is. Okay guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
Uh, make sure you subscribe. So if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. And you'll get all my other videos as they come out. Also, don't forget to hit that link below and the link above for my Patreon account. If you're in my uh, Patreon account, you'll get more details on the new features of iOS 9 for the iPad. And I'll go ahead and show you guys a lot more stuff. But you got to be on the Patreon account in order to get that. All right, I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a good good day, and I'll catch you guys later.